for the ladies and for the guys that enjoy comedy, we got it. We got our man, Mr. Terry Cruz, on the phone. Terry, good morning, my man. Hey, good morning. How you doing? I am fantastic. It's a little, like, rainy and dreary here in Billings, but other than that, I'm good. It's crowded with a chance to meet Bob, too. That's what it is. <laughs> that is what it is. Perfect tie-in. It is cloudy with a chance of meatballs, too. And, uh, shameless. That was shameless promotion right there. Yeah, that was shameless. But, hey, you've got to do it. I mean, that's what you're here for. The movie, it doesn't even really need the promotion. You should be calling your publicist going, why'd you make me wake up this early? I mean, you guys premiered at number one. You crushed the competition. And are you just trying to keep that momentum going? Hey, man, I learned a long time ago, you never rest. You got to keep a snowball rolling down hill, you know what I mean? And then you got to jump in the snowball and let, make it get bigger and bigger. So that's what I'm doing right now, man. I'm just thankful. This this movie is awesome. And, you know, the, 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 and in, in this climate, there's so much competition. You know, movies are in the theater for like a week now, man. It's kind of crazy, but... I just love what this movie has done, and I, my chance to be in animation, this is a dream come true. Yeah, that's that's a, it's got to be awesome for you. Your whole career has been, I mean, it's just such a, a whirlwind of awesomeness. I mean, you get to take part in so many different cool projects. I mean, you're right now, you're in Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs 2, but you're also in uh, Brooklyn Nine-Nine, and you've got like 50 movies coming out. Well, you know, my thing is to try everything. I, I've always had that mantra where just do it, man. Don't, you know, you, you don't get more by doing less. You get, only get more by doing more. So I just said, man, you know, there's no, really no need. I do commercials. I do TV. I will do movies. I, you know, I will do birthday parties. Whatever. Whatever you want me to do, let's go. You are available for it. I love it. Is there something that you haven't done yet? Like something that's on your uh, your actor's bucket list that you've really, really wanted to try and haven't got to do yet? You know what? I, I really want to do... I, I, I've done some drama, you know, just a, a bit, but uh, I, I want to do some real, like, mainstream drama, you know, like some big time, you know, where, where it, it gets really deep, you know. I, I, so most of the time when I'm in a dramatic movie, I get shot up in the first five minutes, you know. I'm, yeah. I'm that guy who gets killed, you know. So <laughs> I want to stay alive through a whole drama. That's what I want to do. <laughs> there you go. That's a good goal. That's a good goal. Make it all the way through a movie that's not funny and stay alive. That's awesome. Check out uh, Terry and Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs 2 in theaters right now. Rocking the competition. What else is going on, Terry? I know you got a bunch of other projects in the works. Uh, what else should we uh, watch for you in? Yeah, I mean, you know, Brooklyn Nine-Nine is happening every week. I'm just so happy, man. Andy Samberg, Andre Brower is awesome. Um, and we've been doing very, very well with that. Super proud of that. It's just been it's, uh, Expendables 3. That's going to be coming out next year. I mean, that's like crazy. I mean, with, we got Harrison Ford, Mel Gibson, Wesley Snipes, in addition to all the other guys. So it's like the, the action movie extravaganza. You know what I mean? Uh, then you got, you know, a, a movie I did with Adam Sandler and Drew Barrymore called The Family Moon. We shot that in Africa. Um, so that'll be out in the spring, man. It's just, I'm not stopping, brother. Let's go. Yeah, exactly. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. And plus, you've got uh, the family. Are you still, uh, you know, working so hard? Are you still having time to spend time with the uh, family? Oh, yeah, man. I mean, you know, my whole thing is, I, I only, I, the only thing I do is work and I come home with my family. I just go hanging out with the guys. My entourage is my wife and, and my five kids. That's the way I do it. So we all, every weekend, it's, it's, it's kids stuff and taking the kids to volleyball, you know, practice and jumping around just like a regular dad. That's awesome, man. Did you get, do you get recognized a lot? I mean, do your kids think you're pretty awesome because uh, everybody knows who their dad is? No, you're never cool to your kids. Never. <laughs> never. It's like, Dad, stay in the car. You know? <laughs> it's like, yeah, but what's so cool, I do get recognized a lot, but the thing is, what I realize is that you just have to keep going the same places and people just kind of realize, oh, yeah, that's him. You know, it's like Jack Nicholson at the Staples Center. You know what I mean? After a while, they're like, hey, Jack Nicholson, he's here. No big deal. Yeah. Uh, my neighborhood Costco, they know me. You know what I mean? It's all good. That's awesome, man. That is awesome. Uh, somebody wants to know, uh, ask the question, that commercial you did for Old Spice where you're playing all the instruments with your muscles, they want to know if that was real. Yeah, well, you know what? Uh, what we do, it was real to an extent. I flexed all day long, and what they did was synchronize it to the music. So I am flexing, 
But it's all was manipulated. So it's so it's so much fun, man. I I was so exhausted <laughs> that day. I can imagine. I was ripped up like ah. I mean, it was like twenty five workouts in one day. Yeah, you. I mean, you could tell you're flexing like each individual little muscle of every part of your body individually. That's as a totally out of shape guy. That is insane. Um, somebody else wants to know if you've ever been to Montana. I've never been, and I want to go, man. I mean, I really want to go. I've heard a lot of wonderful things. I love wide open spaces and, and peaceful times, and I, I like going up there. Man. I want to try it. Yeah, you well, should. You tell me the spot to go to. Well, you, I mean, we got so many here, but we got beautiful, uh, I mean, with winter coming up here, a lot of beautiful ski resorts. I mean, it'd be a great time to, you know, rent a little cabin, bring the whole family up here, Glacier, Yellowstone, Big Sky. You can go through Yellowstone Park and see Old Faithful, then go out and ski, you know. It'd be perfect. Well, I gotta wait for the government to open back up. I hope they won't. Uh... Yeah, exactly, exactly. Wait for the government, then bring the family out here and uh, celebrate. Somebody else wants to know: uh, Are you interested in doing a movie with Kristen Wiig? I don't know why they're asking for about her specifically, but would you be interested in working with her? Uh, yeah, you know, we did bridesmaids. I did bridesmaids already with her, and then I did an episode of Drunk History with her. And we have uh, got a great, great comedic relationship, man. And anything Kristen is doing, I'm with. She's the funniest lady ever. So uh, it's going to be great, man. I love Kristen. Very good. Very good. Right on, man. Well, it sounds like a lot of good stuff happening there. Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs 2, though. Number one movie in the country in theaters now. You can hear Terry uh, rocking it in that movie. Plus, you can see him in uh, The Family Moon coming out. A uh, bunch of other movies. Expendables 3. We'll see him on TV. We'll see you everywhere. Terry, it's been a pleasure talking to you, man. Thank you so much for taking the time. You guys, I'll see you in Montana, man. The Big J Show. Weekday mornings from 6 till 10. On Billings' number one hit music station. Hot 101.9.